In this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys all my best settings and tips on how to get the cleanest sounding audio from your Lumix cameras. My first tip is mic placement. Now, you might not be holding the mic like this, which gets really clean, crisp, podcast sounding audio, but typically times, most people will just put their microphone onto their camera. This doesn't sound horrendously bad, but it's not getting you the cleanest sounding audio. Again, you can use the podcast format like I had said before and hold the microphone. If you don't want a microphone in stand, the next best tip is to get something called a magic arm. Now, a magic arm is just a little screw on arm that you can attach to your camera rig, cage, or use a clamp on your tripod and get the microphone out of frame. Now, this method is called the shotgun method. Basically what you're doing is taking the microphone and placing it out of frame. So right now it's about three inches out of frame. Using a magic arm, this gives me the best method to get the cleanest sounding audio without having any microphone in the scene. Now to show you an example of every single setting, I'll do an A, B, and C test right now saying the exact same sentence with the microphone in different placements. Hi guys, my name is Matthew Daniel. I talk about all things Lumix here, so if you're interested, definitely consider subscribing. Hi guys, my name is Matthew Daniel. I talk about all things Lumix here, so if you're interested, definitely consider subscribing. Hi guys, my name is Matthew Daniel. I talk about all things Lumix here, so if you're interested, definitely consider subscribing. Now I'm curious what you guys think in the comments below, which one was A, which one was B, and which one was C before I give you my answer. And without cheating, A was the shotgun method with the camera right out of frame. B was the vlog style, pin it directly on the camera. And then lastly, C was the podcast method right up close to the mouth. Again, you can probably and most likely hear the differences of the quality of audio depending on the mic placement. All right, with all that said, let's get into the camera settings for your Lumix cameras. So get into your camera settings for your camera. The first thing you're gonna want to do is make sure that your sound record level display is turned on if it is available. This allows you to see whether your levels are peaking if or if your talent or the subject is too quiet and you're able to change this on the fly. Nextly, if your camera does have this seat setting, I like having my sound record gain level on just standard. This is just kind of how it comes out of camera and I personally been okay with how this sounds. Now this part is one of the most important settings in your entire camera which is the decimal levels. So personally I like having it be around negative 12 decibels. This is because you want to try to stay away from the camera audio presets as much as possible and get the natural audio coming out of your microphone as best as possible. And a quick pro tip. To get the best audio out of your camera, you do want to invest into a microphone and I'm gonna give a little bit more couple pro tips after I go over the rest of the settings. Nextly, I prefer having my sound record level limiter turned on. And the reason being is if you're talking really loud to the camera and you accidentally peek, you are not wanting to have that peak actually happen. And by turning this on, you will be preventing that peaking from happening so for example, and I'm about to talk really loud, so a headphone warning. If you're talking really, really loud, your audio should not be peaking. However, if you're talking back to a normal level of volume, this should be more normalized. But again, whenever your subject is talking super, super loud, or if you're talking to the camera and you tend to talk a little bit louder, this record level limiter will just stop you from peaking. Now, this isn't something that you wanna to try to use and abuse. This is more of a safety feature. So if you notice that you're commonly talking extremely loud to the camera, then if you're at negative 12 decibels, I would suggest lowering that down to negative 14, negative 16, or negative 18, depending on the scenario. Again, typically I like being at that negative 12 decibel range. The next feature I personally like having off is the wind noise canceller. Now, the reason I like having this feature specifically off is because I rather have that ability to edit that wind in post using some type of AI and voice isolation feature. Now, my next features might not be on all Lumix cameras, but if they are on your camera, these are helpful to know. The first one is the mic socket. I like having some plug-in power, so if my mic requires power, the plug-in socket will power the mic itself instead of having mic or line. Now, and now on cameras like the S5 II, 2X, GH6, or the G9 Mark II, 
there is a couple settings that you can use. So for example, if you have a special mic, you can turn on stereo or mono. If you have a four channel mic input, you can turn that on and off or an XLR mic adapter setting, you can turn that on and off depending on what mic is plugged into your camera. Now for sound output, I personally having real time. So whatever the camera's hearing, if you have headphones in, having a real time sound is super useful. Now for the headphone volume, I like keeping it around 12 or so because I don't want to be having my headphones extremely, extremely loud, just in case if my subject is actually really quiet, I want to have those volumes bring it down. So if I know I need to bring up my decibels, I can do so. And then the finally, the last camera setting, more specific to the newer Lumix cameras, is the sound monitoring channel. Now, depending if you are using a Panasonic XLR 4 channel, that might change, but personally, I like using channel one plus channel two, so it just allows me to monitor both the channels. You can do just channel one or just channel two. I just do both channels so I can hear both left and right sounding, just in case if I do plug in a stereo microphone or a wireless microphone that has two transmitters. Now my third point is to get the cleanest audio is actually gonna be using your video editing software. The first thing is you wanna make sure that your audio meters are turned on and whenever you are recording your audio, the best place to have your audio is gonna be around negative 12 to negative six decibels. This is just so whenever you say something loud and it goes above that, your normalized level should be around that negative 12 to negative six decibels, including music if you put music underneath your tracks and you fade your music up. Now, next thing you can do is EQ your audio, which if unless you're an audio engineer and you know what you're doing, I would suggest going less is more here and just do slight tune adjustments if you want more bass and different things like that. Again, I'm not a crazy pro audio engineer. I do have an audio background, but again, less is more to get a cleaner audio. And then the last thing you can do in your video editing software is going to be using some voice AI enhancement tools like voice isolation. I don't say going crazy on that, but adding, you know, 10 to 30% is pretty good and sounds really clean. And my last pro tip isn't going to be using actually a plugged in microphone into your camera, but externally recording your audio. So what you're listening to right now is on the Zoom F3, which is a 32 bit external recorder. And that is being plugged in by an XLR Audio Technica microphone, which does require phantom power, but this is giving you 32 bit float sound, which sounds really, really good. And there's a ton of other external recording options that have 32 bit float like the DJI and Rode systems, which these do cost a little bit more money, but you get a overall higher quality sound when you do some route like this. Now, this isn't cheap by any means, you know, with an XLR cable, a microphone, and an external recorder, this costs around about $500 for an audio setup versus a $100 or $200 microphone, which could probably get you most of your way the majority of the time. But if you do want to improve your audio settings, this is definitely gonna be the next step. That's how you get the best audio from your Lumix cameras. Now, if you're interested in getting the best color out of your vlog footage, check out that video right there. And then YouTube recommends you might like this video right here. Until the next one, guys, peace.